what's going on everyone this is William with Blockspace and I'm back with another Lisk Academy. So today's topic is delegated proof of stake and this is a specific type of consensus protocol and one that uh, we love here at Blockspace very much because it allows you to stake your coins offline. So it's a really great tool and it's the one that Lisk uses and there's a good reason for that and uh, basically it's considered the most democratic consensus protocol that really prevents centralization and all it means is that there are delegated or voted delegates that will uh, mine blocks basically they will be validating transactions on the network and they will receive a fee for doing so. Um, there are only 101 uh, forging delegates at one time and how they become forging delegates is up to us. So if we like a project and what they're doing for the list network, we can vote for that delegate. And if that delegate is in the top 101, they will forge blocks. And what that means is they validate transactions. Now the fees associated with those transactions, um, they will then usually share them back with the people that vote for them. So. If uh, you have, let's say, a thousand LISC, then your uh, staking weight will be a thousand LISC, and based on the people that you vote for, you will receive a portion of their proceeds back into your account. So it's a way for them to earn money and for you to earn money as well. Now, different delegates will pay out different amounts, and there is a little bit of a um, a politics involved in this um, however it's uh, the best protocol that we know of today but LISC is looking into different options they say that they have not created the um, the consensus protocol of the future yet the perfect consensus protocol but this one seems to work very well and it's the one that we like here at Blockspace as well um, you can read more about it there's an infographic here that shows about you know um, the different roles and, and how um, anyone who holds the currency can vote for delegates and, and these delegates, they earn rewards uh, for doing so and they pay these back to, usually pay them back to the people who vote for them. And uh, the roles of a delegate are, you know, um, they have to keep it running all the time. They have to have what's called you know, constant uptime and that means that their net node is online and that they're validating transactions all the time and that they're collecting these transactions and putting them into blocks. Now, a delegate can opt not to include a transaction on the block. It cannot change any of the info in the block, but it can opt not to include um, certain transactions. However, this would be considered malicious, and as a result of that, they probably would lose the votes that they have, so they would no longer be a forging delegate. So it's a way for a democracy to be born. It really prevents centralization. Um, and basically, they sign and broadcast these blocks, they validate the transactions, and um, any issues that arise are solved in a fair and democratic way. So um, it's self-governed and self-policed. Uh, so it's, it's really good. And uh, it has a lot of advantages. It's more efficient than proof of work. You can validate transactions in less than 10 seconds as to where proof of work generally will take 10 minutes and it can take up to several hours. So both um, systems have their advantages and disadvantages. However, uh, delegated proof of stake appears to be way more efficient and especially concerning energy costs. We know that proof of work is not a sustainable model. So delegated proof of stake is absolutely a great alternative. And um, it talks about here how LISC is an inflationary reward system. And basically what that means is that each year new and each um, block new list tokens are created and put into the ecosystem but over time the amount of new list that are created goes down so it's every three million validated blocks uh, one list less will be rewarded per block so um, this creates a uh, lower demand or a lower supply uh, in the long run um, the amount of supply that's increasing will be lower and potentially the demand will be higher. So that's the uh, thinking there. But anyway, I hope you learned something today. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at william at blockspace.io. And uh, thank you and be sure to like and subscribe.